Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be looking at the last of the drop pods, Operation Throne. Finally. It took me forever to actually track this pod down. I was almost getting it from somebody on Discord, and I think somebody else had bought it before me. And then finally I got it from uh, Kev, who is also one of the channel members. I bought it from him while back now and I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it until now so let's take a look at it obviously the main draw of these sets were the ODST figures so let's go ahead and look at him first I believe the set new would have come with a stand for him I didn't get the stand it doesn't really matter because you can get stands a dime a dozen like anywhere not too hard to find uh I do love the color of this guy he's kind of the greenish color similar to Alpha 9 Kind of can match with that new Mombasa vibe a little bit. Uh, his helmet is printed pretty nicely. The visor is very nice. It's low contrast, except for the orange stripe on the head. But the visor kind of blends in a little bit. The chest plate is printed pretty well. It does say ODST on there, but it's very smudged. That one is less crisp than some of the other ones I've gotten. I do like the silver on there. The orange stripe is pretty nice. A little rough, but not bad. And then he's got the sniper shoulder plate. I am very partial to that sniper shoulder plate. It's just super cool. And it allows for plenty of movement still. Then he's got one of those little ammo belt thingamajigs around his ankle. And then his secondary color is silver. That kind of adds a nice pop of contrast to the whole figure. He's just a very good generic uh, ODST. I think he can fit into pretty much any scene anywhere you really want and he will work out quite well. Now, the one problem I have with this guy is that he suffers from the issue where the hands don't fully clip things in. It just kind of it goes in there and he holds it, but he can also easily pop it out. So that's a little annoying. I do kind of know a way to fix it, uh, and I might do a whole video on it if you guys want me to, but essentially it's just putting a little thin line of super glue on the end of the hand to make it so it can click in. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to do that, I think. Other than that, though, it's pretty nice. His waist is a little on the loose side, but that's an easy fix. It's the same joint fix as the video that I made for any other joint. And then he's got an old suppressed SMG with a printed like foregrip. Looks kind of cool. It's definitely a little low on detail, but the fact that it matches him is pretty nice. And makes me not want to swap it out. And then I just wanted to bring in like one of the more modern day ODSTs to compare. See how Mega has improved. These guys were among some of their best ODSTs at the time. And it's just cool to see how far they've come. Like the consistent UNSC print I think is a big example. Whereas here it's a little smudged like the ODST. But ODSTs are ODSTs and getting them at any time is amazing. I am all for it. And here you can see the uh, difference between the old SMG and the new one. I'm all for it. I think this is pretty darn awesome. And then the pod is pretty much the same as we've seen before design-wise. It's got the air brakes here that can kind of rotate. You can slide it down, latch it, and then do that. The stick sticking up is a little bit of an eyesore. But if you wanted, you could also just kind of uh, pop it. I said pop it all the way off. Then this comes out, so you can just have that. And then you can just kind of attach the air brakes like that. These ones on the side stick out a little bit. But overall, it's a pretty nice design. I prefer it like that. I feel like that looks the most iconic. Um, and then it's got the gimmick where you just pop the door off. There's a clip inside for our ODST's weapon. He can kind of get in there. Let me just, actually I'm gonna take his weapon off. It's not too difficult to get figures in there. You just kind of set them in there. Honestly, if I pop him onto the seat, I feel like I won't be able to get him out. So you can honestly just put him in there, seal it up, then you're good to go. Pop the door, pop him out, pretty nice. And then the color scheme of this pod, I feel like of all of the drop pods, this one is the most 
versatile. It's the most um, generic, and generic is good in this situation. We have kind of this greenish mixed with a bronzy brown, and then some black and some silver dry brushing. Just really good. I I could see getting three or four of these and just having them in a diorama. Uh, you could just put anybody in there. Heck, you could pair it with this guy. Like he doesn't match his pod, but why does he have to match the pod? I think that looks really good. This is perfect. Some of the other pods, like the lime green and white one, or even the it was not really white, lime green and light gray. The uh, what was that one? Veritas, I think, or um ocean break those ones are very specific and tailored to the odst that it comes with this guy kind of does match his pod but again this one's just so generic you can put any odst in it and it's perfect and that is what i like to see um we have had the new pods come out well they're not actually out and you know what i'm gonna actually grab one of those real quick hang on a second there we go. Here's the rookies pod from the new Alpha 9 drop pods that are kind of out, but not really. Like, they haven't actually hit stores yet. I just wanted to give a comparison. Very different style. This is like the Halo 5 drop pod style, I believe. And there is a lot more going on in this parts-wise, because obviously you can pop off the, uh, the little door here. And honestly, it almost looks like a little ship from this angle. Something from Star Wars. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give a quick comparison. Just kind of the difference. I don't have one of the old, old drop pods for comparison, sadly. Those things are very hard to get. Or I should say they're very hard to get intact these days. So, unfortunately, I don't have that. But, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show them off side by side. Show that these, despite being a different style, are still very relevant today. Well, there you have it. That is the Operation Throne drop pod. I gotta say, despite being a handful of years old now, this set still feels pretty darn solid doesn't feel that outdated at all and it fits in very well with any of the rest of your unsc i will say that this is the most elusive out of all of the pods i believe it was in the first run so it was like wave one of the pods had this in it so you're gonna have a hard time tracking this one down for less than like 25 or 30 bucks which personally don't really think it's worth it uh, for 25 or 30 bucks, you can try and track down a ODST Hive Exterminators and get four ODSTs that are fantastic. And this one is just one. Like, as much as I like this set, Hive Exterminators wins every time. So, don't recommend it for 25 or 30 bucks. 15 or less, if you can find it, highly recommend. Uh, like I said, this pod is super useful for all kinds of dioramas, setups, and it's just fun to just do that over and over again. I don't know, that's just kind of addicting. I think I've done that in my other videos too. Every time I review these, it's just fun. Wait, can I knock him down with his own door? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. I just don't recommend overpaying, but sadly, collecting Mega without overpaying these days is quite a um quite a talent quite a skill to acquire we are in a very odd spot for mega collecting and it's just in general kind of expensive so if you can find it for a decent price don't hesitate to pick it up otherwise let the the scalpers keep their drop pods thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time